good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys coming right at you again with some brand new news. I am super excited to get into it, guys. As you guys know, a couple days ago, we did say that there would be some new figure reveals coming to us from Mattel and WWE, and today it is finally here, and I cannot wait to get into it, guys. We have WWE Elite Series 84. We got some legends. We got some great epic things that I can't wait to get into with you guys. Break it down let you guys know my own thoughts and opinions on it so let's not waste any more time guys let's go ahead and dive straight into the news we got wwe elite series 84 up guys first up we have elite 84 jeff hardy now this is sick i actually like this a whole lot you have the standard version now the chase variant in this set is going to be jeff hardy there's two versions of jeff hardy we're going to go through the standard version just first which is this white teal and blue and black kind of attire with his shirt off he does also come with an interchangeable or removable rubber t-shirt the escape normal jeff hardy t-shirt it is rubber but i mean who's going to want to display the t-shirt over this guy when you look at the back of the guy and it is pretty much a re-release of the elite 57 but it has the updated tattoos on this guy and he looks so good i hate that we don't have a great shot of the tattoo but from this angle you can kind of tell what's going on with it i think it looks epic from this angle I think the colors are really muted really nicely I like it a lot the only nitpick I really have is on his lower back and like around the tattoo it's supposed to have orange in it like it, the, there's supposed to be orange shading where the cross is on his lower back up through the back there and that's probably something we'll have to add on surgery because that really takes away from it I think it'll look really really great with that added but with the release of this Jeff Hardy, guys, that means more Jeff Hardy fix-ups, more collection added to the Jeff Hardy shelf. And I love this figure. I think it looks great. I like the black and blue. I like the face paint. I think it's a good figure. I saw some people kind of shitting on it. I don't know why you'd shit on it. It has the updated tattoo. It's an updated Jeff Hardy. It looks great to me. The only thing I don't like is the fisted hands, Brad. Damn, you fisted hand. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the Chase variant version. We have the Chase variant version here in the red, black, and white face paint with the sort of entrance grates, interchangeable arms, which we've seen before. It's got the white, black, and skin tone. This, however, does not have the tattoo, but it is the Chase variant. So the standard version does have the great tattoo. I'm really glad that Mattel decided to give us the standard version with the tattoo instead of having to chase down the Chase variant. That would have made that really, really sought after. That would have been really crappy to try to obtain but i like this attire too plenty of other fix-ups and stuff we can do i like both head sculpts and everything it does look like the eyes are uh, that are you know he usually shuts his eyelids or when he closes his eyes on his eyelids or eyes you can see the eyes sitting above the eyes which is a little odd but it's not a huge deal i like both face paints i like elite 84 jeff i like what we got going on i think it looks great let's move on guys because we got a lot to get through but jeff hardy is looking good in both versions we also have elite 84 angel garza in the house and I like this. I love the blue color. The blue color really pops off. For some reason, I'm just not remembering the render image as far as, like, I didn't expect the blue to be this saturated. And this figure looks like you're going to be able to pose it around really nicely. And I'm not the biggest Angel Garza guy, but this figure looks pretty damn good. And I, I feel like the head sculpt is, it definitely has the likeness. I just feel like it's, it's like slightly off. Like, it totally looks like him. It's just not like, I don't know. If you guys get what I'm saying, you can let me know down below. But you'll also notice that they did fix his legs he does not have the tights mold on his legs like his render image did have so i'm glad that they addressed that and got that fixed up you'll also notice guys that his pants are going to be removable and rip offable if that's even a word you guys can see it's got the velcro down the side it's got the garza on the butt cheeks and this is really cool this is what uh, i think we already knew this i think uh, either action figure attack or somebody addressed this and said that this figure would have the removable pants because he does it mid-match. And this figure actually looks damn good. So I'm pretty impressed with this Angel Garza. Again, you know, adding to our WWE action figure rosters. This is a first time in the line for him. So that looks really good. Next up in the set, guys, is going to be Sheamus. And I think this is the best Sheamus ever. I think this is the best Sheamus ever. I think the head sculpt's phenomenal. I like the necklace, the cloth t-shirt. What more can you ask for from a Sheamus except for, you know, they're going to use the same formula. So the head sculpt's phenomenal, great necklace, great t-shirt. I don't think you need anything else. I like the black and white attire. I think it looks damn good. I think this is the best Sheamus they've ever made, and I'm pretty happy with this Sheamus. I'm actually psyched to get this Sheamus. So 
Sheamus is the next in the set, and he's looking really good. Mike holding hands and fists. Next up is going to be Buddy Murphy. Now, this is probably one that I'm pretty disappointed in. Now, I'll address all of that right now. The only thing that really, really upsets me is the head sculpt, man. It's the same head sculpt from like 16 series ago or something like that. It was Elite 72. This is Elite 84, so it was a, it was 12 series, okay? It was 12 series ago. The attire is the same crotch piece that we saw from Elite 72, which doesn't bother me at all. It is his, you know, Monday Night Disciple, I guess, or his, you know, his Seth Rollins Disciple gear. It does say Disciple Murphy on the side of it, and it does have, you know, it's not a bad figure. It's just kind of plain Jane. I don't know how sought after this is going to be. I wish it had knee pads as well, which I get, you could easily add those, and I like the kick pads and everything. I just, I don't know, man. It looks just like his Chase variant version, except it's not as good of an attire, you know? It's not rubber t-shirt, same exact head sculpt. I'm still gonna grab it, but it's kind of disappointing. I would have liked to seen something different with it, but there is Butteth Murphy, and the next figure in the set, guys, is gonna be Rhea Ripley. Now, I am a huge fan of Rhea Ripley. I love Rhea Ripley. I think the all the details going down on these legs look great. I like all the sculpts going on. I like the wrist gauntlets. I like the jacket slash vest. I like the choker necklace. I like everything going on. Like, this figure looks badass. The only thing I'm not really feeling, I think, is the hair. Like, I think the face looks like Rhea Ripley. Like, the face does definitely look like Rhea Ripley. I just feel like her hair is molded a little bit weird how it's just slick straight back. It kind of looks a little bit off. I'm not sure if there's another figure out there that we could switch the hair out with or something like that or, or if I could get somebody to sculpt me some more hair on there or something. I just feel like her haircut needs to be a little bit different. And I don't know. I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I still think it looks badass. I just wish the hair looked a little bit different. It just looks a little bit odd, but I really like the face sculpt. I like the face scan. I like all the belts and buckles and zips and ties going on. This figure is pretty badass. I love Rhea Ripley. I'm excited for this, and I'm glad to finally see it. It feels like forever ago we saw the render image. To finally see it here, this is epic, and I cannot wait for it, guys. Next up is going to be the Collector's Edition Target Exclusive. I think it's Target Exclusive. Delina Vega, you guys know that she was released from the company or she got fired or whatever the case was for her Twitch stuff or her OnlyFans or whatever the deal was. Very upsetting situation. I thought she was a great talent. I still think she'll succeed at everything she does because she's very talented. But the, uh, the, the figure right here is great. Head sculpt's the same we saw with her basic. But this figure is clearly more superior. Uh, I can tell by the look of it, it has the Kyrie Sane slash Alexa Bliss kick pads, which are the best in the game. They have really good articulation. I can tell this figure is going to be really poseable. So uh, with that being said, this is going to be a really good figure. You got the Zelina Vega entrance. You got the crown and everything. So this is going to be a great figure. Maybe you can you know, put some stuff with it and make like a manager style Delina Vega instead of, you know, wrestling gear, but still a great figure to have. I like the way it looks. Doubt I'll ever see it at retail or something, but, you know, I'll, I'll try my best to track it down because I like Vega a lot. Next up, guys, is a figure I'm very excited for. I have some iffy biffs about it. Don't know what the hell that means, but let's get into it. Elite 84 Roman Reigns, the big dog, the MDT champion, one of the most prolific wrestlers in all of MDT pick fed history. Roman Reigns right here, guys. We have the Wreck Everyone and Leave updated head sculpt to an extent. We have a interchangeable ponytail head sculpt. We get some interchangeable hands and we get the black and white vest. Now, there's a lot of things to break down with this. First of all, the long-haired head sculpt is the Elite 56 head sculpt, but it is true effects version. Now, I would have loved to seen a longer sculpted beard. I will say that. You know, I, I love the Elite 56 head sculpt. I think it's his best, or the Elite 65 is what it is, too. But I would have liked to seen a little bit thicker beard here. I still think it looks phenomenal, and I'm still going to touch it up a little bit, like add some darker black to the bottom of the beard so it looks like it fades a little bit. And this interchangeable head sculpt, I think, is okay. It's not perfect by any means. He's going to still have his removable gauntlets. I love the Wreck Everyone and Leave t-shirt. The interchangeable head sculpt with the ponytail, I think, could just be better. I wish it was pretty much the same exact head sculpt, like, just with a man bun, you know? Like, use this exact head sculpt that we got with the long hair version. Just give us a man bun. It doesn't look bad at certain angles. I just think it's going to really depend on how we, how we get it in hand and everything like that, but... 
Still hype for the figure. I think this is a great Roman Reigns. It may be one of the best Roman Reigns ever. I think a really cool fix-up I'm already imagining is putting the Elite 56 boots on it with the white outsoles would look really badass on this figure. So it's probably something we'll end up doing. But I'll definitely grab a lot of these. And another thing that I have not seen a picture of is a back version of the figure. Like you get, I think, one photo maybe. I don't even see a photo of the back of the figure. So who knows if he has his updated tattoo Hopefully he does have his updated tattoo, and I'm also noticing the right shoulder doesn't completely cover with the tattoo, so I hope that that actually is fixed, and you know, it's like his other top talents figures that we've gotten recently where it covers the full shoulder and it's not stopping halfway because that's kind of a nitpick and something that kind of bothers me, but nonetheless, new Elite Roman Reigns looks good, and I am excited for it, but we do have more than that, guys. We got Battle Packs. We got Legend Series. Let's go ahead and keep moving on. We got a lot of stuff here. Let's get into this Daniel Bryan and Fane Battle Pack, the Champions Battle Pack. Uh, nothing too crazy going on. This is two re-release basics, I'm pretty sure. If we don't have re-release basics, that Elite 79 Daniel Bryan is this in, in pretty much basic form with the, you know, the Elite 73 head sculpt. You also have the WrestleMania Bray Wyatt or Fiend figure. Uh, not nothing too crazy, you know. I think these figures look really good, mock. But outside of that, I just don't have a reason to own this. The next one, however, is the Giant and Ric Flair. Now these. Maybe a reason you want to pick these up. You have sort of like long-haired throwback Big Show or Giant figure from WCW. You could put that on your Elite Giant figure that we got way back in the day. You could possibly put it together with some other figures, make it creative. I like the likeness to Big Show right there, Paul White. And the Ric Flair head sculpt, I don't think we've ever gotten a Mattel Ric Flair with that kind of style haircut before. So that's pretty cool as well. You could make like a early 2000s, you know, GM Ric Flair. You could do some uh, some other fix-ups and customs and things of that nature. So those may be worth the pickup for that reason. You also get open green knee pads, which is something to point out. But they are basics. The only reason I'd grab them is for head sculpts or anything like that. And then the next championship battle pack we have, guys, is Kane and Edge from the Ruthless Aggression era. Kind of upsetting that it's another Ruthless Aggression era, but it is basics instead. But the Kane and Edge looks okay. It's pretty much the Elite 10 Kane. I like the head sculpt with the pissed off. It just kind of looks a little bit off with that. I feel like it's like very minimal paint on the eyes, but I still like that head sculpt. That Elite 4 head sculpt is pretty nice. We also have Edge over here, and I don't know. I mean, he's, he's decent. They still haven't nailed the likeness on Edge. I think that's pretty much kind of a tweaked version of another Edge head sculpt, but it's not my favorite. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not my favorite Edge head sculpt by any means. They just He's one of those guys, he's like Becky Lynch. Besides his most recent Elite and maybe the Ultimate Edition that's coming, they just cannot get Edge that right. Like it just There's no Edge head sculpt, maybe again, besides his Elite 83 and the Ultimate Edition, that is just like, damn, Brad, that's a good head sculpt. So maybe they'll get that fixed soon. But next up is some wrecking figures, guys. We have John Cena that comes with a breakaway ladder. You know, it's the Elite combined with the Basics. It's the Super Showdown attire. And it's just, it. you know, it's plain Jane. You may want it for the breakaway ladder, but that is pretty much it. You also have Roman Reigns with a Wrecking Slam chair. Now, I'm not sure if this is like a moldable chair. I don't know if it like it like just bends a little bit or what the case is, but it comes with a bent-up chair. You could beat the ass out of somebody and have a bent-up chair. That's pretty cool. And then the last Wrecking, oh, no, I'm sorry, there's four in the set. The third out of the fourth is going to be Drew McIntyre and he, Drew McIntyre? Drew McIntyre coming with a barbell and some weights. Same Drew McIntyre head sculpt that we've seen forever. It's pretty much his, uh, his newest elite, his elite 83 figure in attire form. And he does have a bendable barbell right there for, for wrecking and slamming like they like to do. And then the last Rick and slamming figure, guys, is going to be The Rock with his old Brahma Bull tattoo and his lower or not as sculpted or not as jacked torso. But I do like this pull-up bar accessory that you get. If you could get like a bunch of these things and the kickboxing stuff and you had like a lot of time in your hands, you could make a badass gym with all the Mattel, you know, accessories that they give us. I think that'd be pretty badass. But nonetheless, guys, that does break away and it's a pretty cool accessory but that'd be probably the only reason you bought these is for the accessories but nonetheless guys let's move on to legend series number 10 getting in first guys we have ddp we've seen the render image for this for a long time now but finally getting it in hand they are using a shinsuke nakamura lower on this guy he's got the nice ripped up ddp torso tattoos look great i love this vest the vest is super badass with the lightning design gives me great nostalgia right here I like everything going on with it. I like the head sculpt. You got the DDP hands or the diamond diamond pose hands. 
I like it. I like it a lot. I think this is a great figure, and I can't wait to. And I'm pretty sure, isn't that an, he's got an earpiece accessory? So you got you got lots of good stuff going on with DDP. Next up, guys, is going to be Big Vader. We got Vader in the house. I think this is his third elite. It may be his second, but I think this is his third. I think we had like a Legend series way back in the day. We got this Legend series, and then we do have the main Elite line version. I like the boots. You got the red and black going on. He comes with two interchangeable head sculpts. You have your maskless, you have your mask, and then you have your maskless that does have the removable mask. So technically, you get three head sculpts if you think about it. You also have his big entrance gear, interchangeable hands. You can even use these slap hands that he comes with, or the Vader hands for a Brock Lesnar, I guess, if you wanted to. I like what's going on with the Vader. Hopefully his legs are poseable and he's not like super stiff like Bam Bam Bigelow. So hopefully that will be the case with Vader. But he looks good. I like everything going on with that. Next up in the set is going to be Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Now we do have two different versions here. We have two versions that are both MDT-like. Like I could use this for MDT with all these accessories and the MDT zebra print and stuff. But you have the yellow and uh, black zebra print. And then you have the blue leopard print kind of with the you know the different arm accessories he comes with the tag title i like the entrance vest or not the entrance vest but the entrance robe looks great brutus the barber beefcake looks good i like the way this figure looks and i'm not a beefcake guy he kind of rots on shelves but i think i would grab these if i saw them at retail i just like the colors i like the you know the customization part and i would definitely use this entrance coat you could probably even throw this entrance coat on oscar or something i think it'd be really badass and uh that's just some things that are popping into my brain off the top of the skull there but Bruce the Barber Beefcake is not the last one in the set, guys. We also have John Cena. So that 02, early 2000s John Cena, Ruthless Aggression John Cena that we did see uh, in the leaks. I, I think it was like a couple months ago. It was like an upcoming Ruthless Aggression era figure. Showcase Collector does it again, showing off this figure. This is supposedly from his match with Bray Wyatt at the Firefly Funhouse match from WrestleMania. You got the interchangeable, you know, good shit Vince Puppet. You also have two interchangeable head sculpts. It is the orange and blue attire, which is different from his Toys R Us figure we got way back when. It's pretty much a true effects version of that head sculpt. And then we have that Elite 76 head sculpt that he got from WrestleMania 35 Elite that we got and everything like that. But I like the John Cena. I'm a huge John Cena guy. I'm always open to adding John Cena to the collection. And they kind of have it like where you can have it throwback or you can have it current day from that match with The Fiend or, or Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Funhouse match. But I think that does it for Legend Series 10. And then the last four figures we have here, guys, are these Masters of the WWE Universe. You have Goldberg, Kane, Stephanie McMahon, and Ultimate Warrior. Now, Stephanie McMahon's an odd release for me, but that Kane is badass. I think this is the best WWE figures of the universe figure they've made. I love the hair, the, the like rocket launcher or machine gun hand. What a sick ass figure. I think this is one of the best ones they've ever made. Two different versions there. Or is that a flamethrower? I can't exactly tell. It's got like a Robart arm as well. I, I don't know, but it looks badass. Ultimate Warrior, I think that's his second one that we've seen from him. Uh, I don't really collect these, but I did get like series one and two. I might track down the rest. I'm not exactly sure, but it's kind of difficult to keep up with all of them. But the Kane figure is super badass. And that pretty much does it for all of the reveals, guys. Tons and tons of stuff. I would love to know what you think down in the comment section below. What do you think of all these different figures? I know it was a lot of stuff to get through, but I hope you guys sat around and enjoyed the rest of it. What is your favorite reveal from today? I would say probably mine is going to be Jeff Hardy, Rhea Ripley, or Roman Reigns. I really like the way all of those guys look. If we get any more reveals, I will put them up to you guys. Also, I think in a couple days or like four or five days, whatever the case is, I think we're getting more AEW figures your reveals to go along with these in the same format i'm pretty sure so we'll just have to see about that but damn bro what a what a great day of reveals i still think it was pretty good and actually i found a photo of roman reigns i found a photo of roman reigns in the back and i think they did include the tattoo guys so that's great that's epic i'm very happy that they did include that but i wanted to get that in before we got out of here if you guys missed aew action figure surgery from this morning definitely go check that out i'm gonna get into the random shout out before we get out of here real quick and this shout out is going to go to campbell tansley they say me buys literally one wrestling figure my now broke wallet you cross the funding line i thought that was good stuff right there pretty creative comment from Campbell Tansley. Thank you so very much to Campbell 
for that epic comment, guys. Definitely go check out WWE Action Figure Surgery from this morning. If you guys would like to pre-order Elite 84, go do so using promo code MDTOYS to save your 10%. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the funding line. You cross the line. I've been